I'm Stacy Dragila. In my career, I've jumped higher than any woman in the world, more than 15 and a half feet. That's a long way to launch yourself and then free fall in the air. And let me tell you, the first couple trillion times I tried it, it was pretty frightening too. Today I'm going to introduce to you a girl who has also learned to deal with her fear in order to reach new heights. Meet someone who's setting new records for bravery with the help of the real winning edge. Meet Tori Allen, a 15-year-old rock climber and pole vaulter from Indianapolis, Indiana. Tori's life was shaped by her early years in the West Africa where she lived with her missionary parents. It was there that Tori had a beloved pet monkey, Georgie. Tori came to identify with this monkey as she discovered that she too loved to climb. Back in the States at the age of 10, Tori put this passion into action and quickly rose to the top of the climbing world, becoming undefeated in all categories of rock climbing at the Junior National Championships. Fearless and eager for new challenges, Tori took on the summit of Yosemite's El Capitan when she was only 12, the youngest woman ever to perform such a feat. By the time she was 13, Tori was winning national championships against adults. When she was 14, she set a new record in the X Games and also won a world championship. Along the way, pole vaulting became another sport that allowed Tori to practice her fearlessness. For the past three years, Tori has come in first and set new records in pole vaulting at state meets and junior Olympic competitions. In the midst of all this, Tori has written a book called Life Rocks. She does speaking engagements and maintains an A average at school. I started climbing when I was 10 years old and it was around Christmas and my dad and I went shopping and uh, there was a climbing wall in the store. And I climbed it, I went straight up the first one really easily. And they're like, oh wow, she's really talented. We we're like, yeah, yeah, you're supposed to buy stuff at your store. And then um, for Christmas, I ended up getting shoes and a chalk bag and a membership to a local climbing gym. And I just started entering little competitions and kept qualifying for them. She's going to succeed in, in her, whatever her endeavors are, whether they're academic or athletic. Uh, and, and so she leads by example. She has winning habits, you know, and, and it's hard to put your finger on and really define what all the winning habits are that lead to success, uh, but she has it. I stay connected to God by just, I mean, I pray all the time. I try very hard not to be associated with the people who do drugs or do drinking or go to those certain kinds of parties. Uh, Tori is a self-made track athlete, uh, meaning that she, she's not one that came out with, with loads and loads of talent. Some people are, are blessed with that. Tori is a, is a self-made athlete through discipline, uh, through training, through hard work, um, through dedication, and just a, an absolute unbelievable will to succeed. The first editing quiz I gave her, she really struggled with it. On top of never having taken a standardized quiz before because she had been homeschooled, she additionally struggled with dyslexia. And her scores climbed and and climbed until the end of the year where she was scoring among the highest of students and she turned an F to an A. Uh, and that's when I, when I think of Tori, that's what I think of. There's nothing she can't do. My advice to kids my age is to really set goals. You know, not just someday I want to be in the Olympics, but you know, set goals leading up to that. And you can have them as on the test on Friday I want to get an A plus or you know, all the way up to years away. And I think that definitely, my parents did that me, with me since I was young. That's definitely helped me. Representing the USA, Tori Allen. I climb four days a week for about three hours each time. I also coach some younger girls, and um, they're really strong, and it's really rewarding because last year they both made finals and one of them won. So, I don't know, just to, it's like, it's really rewarding. She's not worried about just her, she's looking out for her friends and uh, making sure we're doing okay. She's always trying to do things that, to help other people out. She don't really po point out the bad stuff in people, she always points out the good stuff. Tori even like helped me, because I wanted to quit and I was like, it's so hard, too much work and Tori said, keep going at it. And 
you know, we had a couple of track meets and I did pretty good and she was like, congratulations. I think Tori does a good job of, you know, sharing time with, with um, her family and uh, her brother as well. When I watch her do what she does, it makes me work harder. I was really sick. I was nearly sick for almost a month. But just going through that time made me really learn. You know, I wanted to get up and go run, but I couldn't do anything. You know, I was just weak. But it made me just know that I had to relax, that I had to pray, and I had to let God take over and stop trying to be so in control of my life. Some advice I'd have for kids my age is just spiritually, you know, it can get really tough at times, and you just gotta, you gotta hang in there. And when I sign posters and stuff, my saying is just never give up.